10 years after the last chapter in the Barbershop movie, the doors are open again. And Dan got a chance to chat with two of the stars. Guess who's back? Ice Cube, Lamorne Morris, mm -hmm. great to see you. you Thank too. you, you too. You know, a lot of comedies, maybe most of them, they just want to go for laughs, and there's nothing wrong with that. The Barbershop movies want to do more, though. I'm trying to get that call in the middle of the night saying my son is locked up or worse. Well, we wanted to have a, a great reason to do this movie. And, you know, we knew that it would be full of laughs. I bet he won't be talking back to his mama no more in the George Jefferson. <laughs> but we didn't think that was, could sustain a whole movie, you know. We wanted to have some meat on the bone. And, and so we felt like Calvin with his 14-year-old son now trying to keep him off the streets is a universal message that, that any parent from anywhere, where, any walk of life can really identify with. They shoot out there. Oh yeah, South Side of Chicago, along with a lot of cities in America, is, it's very hot right now, you know, and it's very, very dangerous for people to be out there. A lot of kids are involved in a lot of the wrong thing. So the movie itself tackles those issues, and that, that is another reason why he's saying it's so relevant and it's so important now. Lamorne, this is your first barbershop movie. Uh, your character, Gerard, mm -hmm. tell me about him. Gerard's like boiled okra. He's just green, stringy, just completely unappetizing to the human palate. Yeah, my character Gerard, he's a weirdo. Guys, I'm standing right here. I can hear you. He's a weirdo. He's he's a bit neurotic. He thinks a little differently from a lot of from a lot of people in the shop. Uh, the guys give him a hard time about the way about some of his opinions. You know, Calvin respects him. You pass up corny dudes like Gerard every day. Well, I maybe mean, he doesn't respect him. I don't know. He likes him. <laughs> he likes him. He don't respect him. He don't respect him. So uh, he's he's just a fun dude, man. Acting in this one, starring and producing, talk about the difference at this point in your career between acting and producing. You know, it's it's. You know, I've gotten better with hiring the right people in all areas. So that just leaves me open to to just get into the character. We gotta fix our problems ourselves. Get into Calvin without, you know, having to really, you know, split myself in half, so to speak, and running back and forth. So it's kind of like I get the right crew together, we all do our thing, we all do our job, and it gets done. Very scary person to look over your shoulder. <laughs> yeah. Ice Cube. Yeah. Really? How yeah. so? Well, you know, in, he's, a, he's a really nice guy. Can I get a selfie with you? He's very professional, but he's very intimidating. You know what I mean? My first day on set, I was trying to in my mind, just make it, make him laugh, make him laugh. And it was just, you know, it just wasn't working. Until, you know, until I started being myself a little bit. Did he make you laugh that first day? Yeah, yeah, he's funny. <laughs> Eventually. Everybody we put in the movie, to me, yeah. is a funny uh, person, an actor, actress. So, you know, to me, it's like, this is crazy because he, he's funny to me. <laughs> All right, Ice Cube, Lamorne, thank you so much for the chat. Best of luck with the movie. Thank you. Oh, thank you, man. Good to see you.